Good morning, everybody. So today we are coming at you bright and early. It's like 4.30 in the morning. Um, we got up, we brushed our teeth, got ourselves ready to go, left our campsite, and now we are in the visitor center waiting for this place to open so we can catch our shuttle to go all the way to the, the grotto, the grotto? I think it's the grotto. Yeah, no. No, it's the... The furthest point. Yeah, that one. That one. Mm -hmm. um, today we are going to take you on a beautiful adventure. We can't wait to show you. But right now, we're going to finish our breakfast. So we'll see you on the road. All right, guys. So it is 6 a.m. And this is when the first shuttle takes off. I know it's a little hard to see but it is lined up. And there's already been one bus of that. Yep. So we'll probably have to wait a little while and catch the next bus or two. We'll see. Enjoy your time here in this very special national park. All right, so we have made it to Temple of Sinawava. That's the uh, tombstone of, uh, yeah. that I've been talking about. <laughs> we finally figured it out. So anyway, this is where we begin our hike. Um, so we do have the river walk hike that we are doing. It's a two mile round trip. So we only have to hike in one mile before we actually start the narrows. And I don't know how well you guys can probably see, but this is the view. So we're right in the middle of the canyon. So let the journey begin, guys. So the narrows that we're gonna take today is actually, I think the bus thing said, the most notorious uh, thing in Zion that people actually come for is to actually take this hike. So we'll be in the canyon if you go far enough there's actually a hanging garden uh, obviously the walls will be black and white and blue uh red but yeah it's just a little of the old narrows so we happen to catch this deer on our way there's actually two of them i don't know where the other one is but i think we all just kind of spooked each other We are now at the beginning of the Narrows and we get to whoo, walk in water. How's it feel? Nice. <laughs> so pretty much the majority of this trip, I think actually the entire trip, we are going to be walking through water. And it is not the warmest. Um, they say even in the summertime that it's actually this cold still. Um, so it should be fun. You want to stop? <laughs> you want to? No. So um, <laughs> we've crossed the river twice. Yeah. It is freaking cold. <laughs> <laughs> we got our chacos on. Water time. Wow. But um, we're gonna keep going because we're only doing this once. So time to suck it up, Buttercup. So 
I think that we're finally starting to get maybe a little adjusted to the water temp. Mm. <laughs> but the one thing I wanted to say is that the Narrows is actually a uh, take at your own risk. Yeah. Because as you can see, we are in between a canyon and so the, the possibility of flash flood is very possible. And so they say, you know, obviously to take it at your own risk, always check the forecast before you go, see what the chances of a flash flood are, and always just be prepared. So just want to kind of inform you guys on that. Far. But one thing I wanted to point out is some of the challenges that we're facing while trying to cross through the Narrows. So not only is it cold and our feet are numb, but the current is actually pretty steady flow and the rocks are slippery. So I yeah, mean, it's big rocks, small rocks, little yeah. drop offs. So you just have like to take your time and of course, you know, trying to fight the current and just, you know, worry about our safety. So sure. it is cold. It is beautiful. Alright, so we finally got a little bit of a break out of the water. And now we are walking along this rocky can't even say it's really a path. As we just keep winding around these canyon walls, they are just beautiful. Like, look at all of the colors. The colors are just magnificent. So the good news is, is every time that we get back in the water, it's not as cold. I guess that's a good thing. Um, but anyway, one thing that we didn't mention with the Narrows is it's supposed to be like a 9.4 mile hike. They say, you know, obviously like you can go in to the first bend, take a few pictures, blah, 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 keep going, find an adventure, however it is that you want to make it. Um, so I really don't know where there's like an actual ending to this because it's just following along the cannon wall. Um, so we're just going to follow it until we kind of get our fill and then turn around and head back. So one thing Dustin and I are very notorious for is breaking away from the pack and going on our own little adventure. And then if you get places like this, all to yourself.
So we finally finished the hike. It took us about... Five hours. Yeah, five hours. And it was a beautiful experience, but we are beat up, we're cold, we're sore. And look at our, our wounds from our shoes. About fell in several times on the way back. I think just because we were tired and sore. And um, now I think we're gonna go get some food. All right, which one's mine? This one. Which one? So, we made it back to the bus. Freezing. And, yeah, super cold. We went and got a few things stocked up on, and since we were so cold, we decided to get some hot noodles, guys. So, we're gonna have ourselves a nice little lunch, and... Probably a nap. Yeah. So that's what we got going on. We're a little sore, beat up, but after discussing it, I think, no matter what, we wouldn't have changed anything, maybe different shoes for you. Um, my feet are kind of tore up as well, but I don't know. Anyway, we're glad we went on the experience and if we were to have done it again, we sure would have. All right, let's eat. <laughs> this is gonna be... Cucumber. How's it going? Good, you? Good. Do you mind if I peek inside? I've been thinking about building that. Come on. Yeah, come on in. Thank you. We're still in the process of building ours. This yeah, is pretty sweet. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, under the beds, all storage. What year is this? 06. 06. 06. Okay, diesel engine? Yeah, mm -hmm. Thomas. Had yep. any problems with it? No, it's no. a set. Actually, it's a 2003 Ford. So okay. we have got the 7.3. Okay. But then it's a 2006 Thomas box. Dude, this is sweet. So sure. you're thinking about getting a bus? Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about it. Yep. Yeah. I don't know what I want to build yet. Sure, but, uh, sure. And you can stand up in here. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're yeah. tall people. I'm six three. Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of my thing. It's like I don't want to build something I can't stand up in, right. and I can't afford a high top van. School right. bus. Super expensive. School bus is the way. I know the people behind us. We actually spent the night with them last night. Uh, that's a 2006 Sprinter. And they can stand up in yeah, theirs. She's as yeah, tall as she's but you can't find me. those for less sure. than like 20, sure. Sure. 20 odd thousand. These, I mean, I don't know what you guys picked this up for, but I've been seeing school buses going for like three, four. Yeah, we got it know. for like 3,800 bucks. Yeah. Right. But we got it from Northern Arizona. Yeah. That's so there's no live. rust and shit. Where at? I'm in Phoenix, but. Okay. okay. Yeah, we got this right. out of Pine, rust, Pine rust Lake, Arizona. Hell yeah. yeah. Sweet. You guys are inspiring. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you. Sure. Well, I gotta run. Yeah, this is yeah. one yeah, we got something. Yeah. Where's so my first wallet? up, you got a sticker. I do. I just gotta find my wallet. Oh, my wallet's right there. Are you guys? Are you full time van lifing? Um, um, sort of. Yes. Getting there. Yeah, we're we're building to be there. Cool. Yeah. Where do you guys live? Um. Well, yeah. Here. When you're not here. Um. Here. Usually Denver. Okay. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Um. But yeah. We're just, once we're finished here, then we'll be like permanently on the road. Yeah. Sick. But That's we awesome. we sold everything we own and we left in 2017. Okay, nice. So yeah, we've been. There Hell you go. Yeah. You can... Sweet, I'm excited to track your progress. Hell yeah, yeah. check us, it out. Ask us questions. I definitely will. Have anything. Hell yeah. yeah. We'd love to help, Yeah, that's, that's that's my plan for this winter is buy something and build uh, it. Like even this ambulance right next to us? Yeah. yeah. That's a sweet like setup. But I, there's a lot of people. Too. Yeah, there's a lot of people that do them. There's yeah. a, there's another bus like three I mean, stalls I've over. I've been thinking about just building that box trailer and driving around with a truck. But there's some serious downsides. To that. Yeah. This thing, this yeah. thing looks perfect. If yeah, we, if we, we still like fit it. in our own parking stall. Yeah. So you're right. not like a lot of the city ordinances and shit are for these big ass RVs that yeah. you can't park in mm -hmm. single stalls. Okay, but I really gotta yep. run. No, I gotta sure. keep waiting on it. Yep. Thanks, yeah, nice guys. Let me poke my head in. Yeah.
cool. All right, guys. So we might have had some pizza <laughs> <laughs> and some salads, but we got a little bit of work done, got some things charged, and now we are back to watch the sunset. And we are actually back at the same camp spot we were last night with our new friends, Jack and Emma. <laughs> <laughs> that is Emma, obviously. <laughs> Jack is about to throw the drone, drone up in the air, possibly. Yeah, we gotta connect, download something on the computer real quick, and then I can fly it. It's gonna be a minute. But, anyways, here's the view all the way around. There's several other campers here. And that's it for us. We are going to hang out with our new friends. We're yeah. going to build a fire. Tell stories. Most of them will probably be lies. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, uh, we have another fun field adventure for you guys tomorrow. So stay tuned. As for that, we hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it that nice thumbs up. Leave some love in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It does help us a lot and thank you guys for everything. Thanks guys. Thank <laughs> you.